Well, welcome, everybody. Um, my frequent guest is our guest again today. That's Gabrielle Rutten. Raise your hand. Say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Gabrielle. Gabrielle is uh, the director of the Gary Craig Official EFT Training Center in the Dutch language. Um, hometown is in the Netherlands and so on. Uh, and she is an MD by background, which is which is going to be useful here because I'm not an MD. Um, and so it gives us, you know, different perspectives. <laughs> so I have an interesting, well, our topic, our topic, first of all, is the unseen therapist shows us other related issues. What that means is we may be asking the unseen therapist, our, our, our spiritual healer within, okay? we may be asking the unseen therapist for help on a given issue. And next thing you know, she's reminding us, oh, there's this issue. Maybe there's this issue as well. And she's there to, you know, to help us be complete in all of this. And so that saves us a potentially a dramatic amount of time and detective work trying to discover well, what's behind this particular issue and so on. It's just that there, once you're used to it, once you get training and you get you get you get skills in this area, she'll start pointing this stuff out to you. And it allows us to be more thorough and so on. So anyway. I'm going to ask your thoughts on this in a minute, Gabrielle. But let me um, let me let me read from from this email. First of all, she says I'm a newbie. Okay, so, okay. Um, I've been at this about a week. Okay, and I've been going through the lessons and and so on about our advanced course and all that. And then she has this question. She says, "I have noticed as I work on issues." That other other issues come up. That's what I was just talking about. We're working on this specific event. Next thing you know, oh, there's another one, another one, okay. I may be at a 10 on the original specific issue that I'm working on. And as I'm asking the unseen therapist, you know, for help on that, she will bring other issues up. I write those down. Sometimes it seems like an, I can only clear to a six or so. Starting at a 10, now it's a 6. And other issues keep intruding. Well, that's the unseen therapist saying, ah, oh, you got this one, you got that one. You know, need to look at all this to be to be thorough. So the, the intruding, so I work on that one to see if it will bring the other one down. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Well, yeah, that's interesting. That's a really good thing that unseen therapist is showing us this stuff. Like I said, it saves us mountains of time in some cases and trying to find stuff. But then it gets a little, it can get until you get good training, a little confusing. What do you do with that? So Gabrielle, you've had, you had this, you've had this experience with yourself and other clients, I gather. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And I think, I mean, if she's a newbie and she's already, you know, reporting that other stuff shows up, she's doing quite well. I'm, uh, I would like to uh, point out. I also like that she says, I'm writing them down. Because here's the thing. If you start at a 10, and then you bring this down to a 3 or 4, and other stuff comes up, do write them down. Um, because if if you, you know, if it's a 3, 4, and it, it got, doesn't go down any further, one of the one, you know, one of the other issues that came up needs attention. So my advice always is then just leave this situation for now. Take one of the other ones. Okay. Work that down to zero and then go back if need be. And let me interject here, Gabrielle. Something that tends to happen here is she'll go from a 10 to, well, she said a six, but you're talking about three or four. So she goes from 10 to a lower number, let's say three or four. Okay. Right. As a newbie, you're not always able to distinguish whether that three or four is on the original one or it's a three or four is on the intruding one is it you know it's the, the 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 newbie has a hard time distinguishing those two but the idea is okay here comes another one now you're at a fork in the road now should you stay on the original one to go to zero or or um 
well, I'll, I'll give you my experience here. Sometimes they will stay on that one to try to go to zero. Okay. But the other one just keeps popping up. Okay? It's saying, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to stop my feet and I want, I want your attention. Okay. So we'll deal with the new one, the intruding one, let's say. And bring that one down to zero. And sometimes when they do that, the original one goes to zero. Give me your thoughts on that. Yes. Yes, that, that means that they're closely related and the earlier one feeds into the one that you were working on originally. And so you need to step out of that one, clear house on the, on the other one and then go back. And then when you properly test, relive the moment and there's nothing there yet, you're finished. If there's still some charge, you need to finish that one. So I would like to pound the table for do both, but work until there's absolutely zero. Test them thoroughly. And there's one other thing I would like to point out because she says, so other other issues show up. And this um, it's a good sign if unseen therapist, you know, hands them, you know, hands them out and says this needs attention. I would like to point out that some people are just, even in the meditation, are analyzing what was happening and thinking about it. So, because our, our um, long-term memory works very associatively, uh, other things might pop up because you're still thinking about what you're meditating on. That would activate other memories for sure. So I'm just pointing out that the more you can trust the process and just leave it up to unseen therapists to do whatever is necessary. You don't even have to notice anything, but just leave it up to unseen therapists. But if something pops up, that's for sure uh, another situation that needs attention. Do both, but test both. They should both be zero. Yeah. And so let me, let me also point out about the testing. It's one thing to test right at the moment while you're doing, bringing an unseen therapist in. You started a high number and now you're, you're, you're lower, you're zero, and so on. Seems to be gone. But I've often found that Sometimes, I should say often, sometimes I find that while it seems to be gone, if you test the next day or next week, you bring it up again, you run the memory, you talk about it, whatever, and there's more intensity. Um, you want to test not just then, you want to test, you let time go by sometimes. Um, that's, that's, that's a better test. And I... I Sometimes I find find this quite a bit, actually. Somebody may go from 10 to zero during the session. Yay, yay. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, yeah, I can't even doesn't bother me now at all. And then the next morning they run the memory, and now they're at a four on something. Well, I thought it was all done yesterday. Well, no, but what I caution about, I said, when you run it again tomorrow or the next week or whatever, when you run it, if you get intensity, chances are the intensity is some new aspect you didn't put on the table the first time. Maybe as you were being rejected by your father over something, you weren't putting on the table the fact that your brother was laughing at you, okay, all this time. That wasn't on the table to begin with. And now when you come back to it the next day, you're tuned into your brother laughing at you. That's a different, it may seem like the same because it's part of the same event, but you didn't put it on the table specifically. Now your brother's laughing. Now you got a new event. So it's very important to recognize these aspects that show up. That's one way you test, test well and get thorough with all this. Thoughts? Yes, yes, yes. I agree entirely. So here's the thing. Um, you have to relive the moment. So close your eyes, step into the moment, look through your own eyes and just ask yourself, who's present? What do I see? What do I hear? What do I taste? What do I feel? What do I smell? So use all your senses. So take a, you know, take a little time to really be in the moment so that you don't skip important aspects and you don't have to do them all at the same time because you know, first we're down one aspect, the way your father is looking at you, for example, and he's saying something, work that to zero, and then you turn to your brother, you know, 
laughing at you behind his back or whatever the aspects are. So just take your time to realize it should be short because there should be only one crescendo. But, you know, there could be more players um, um, active in your little little scene and also all the senses. So just allow yourself to take a moment to realize all, you know, what is my sensory input here? Because that tends to make it a little more thorough and then you could just test everything. Yeah. And just to add to, add to that, um, it could be something, an aspect, not only like your, your brother, you know, laughing what you hadn't thought about to begin with. Okay. But it could also be a shifting in emotions. You could have been angry at this to begin with. And then as you run the emotion or you run the event tomorrow or next week, you're getting intense, but you feel guilty about it. And that wasn't even on the table to begin with. You never even thought about guilt then. But if you run it for the original anger, well, chances are the anger, you know, you know why would I be angry kind of response. But, oh, yeah, I, I probably caused this and I, you know, uh, 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 different issue. Okay. Yeah. So, so you, take your... Yeah, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, no, no. You go ahead. You go ahead. No, no, no. I was, uh, I'm stealing your thunder. Well, okay. So you just, you just want to now, now take the guilt response, and dig into that one as though it's a new issue. Because in one sense, it is a new issue. It's a guilty response to the same event. Yes, but that's we call that another aspect. And then you may, you may after that have a fear response of some kind. Okay. Possibly. Okay. Now, typically, I mean, having other aspects show up is fairly common. Having more than two or three would be uncommon in my experience anyway. Um, but somewhere in there, you need to, you need to be aware of that possibility because you will keep one to be thorough. All that is taught, you know, in our advanced, advanced training. And by the way, uh, below this video, there's some essential links. There's a free ebook that gets you started and all this called the un my book, The Unseen Therapist. There's a free newsletter and there's some advanced training you can sign up for and so on. So, Gabriel, anything else? No, I just want to encourage, because she's a newbie, that uh, uh, practicing your testing is absolutely worth your while because just take some time and just, if you worked on anger just ask yourself is there any other emotion or reaction in that exact moment because i i agree entirely with you gary that you need to focus to one crescendo and in one little peak experience there hardly ever are more than three emotions so if you keep adding emotion to it you're probably shifting to other you know a, little, a moment later or a moment earlier or maybe even another uh, memory so Focus on one little moment and just, you know, thoroughly test and see, is there any reaction? Do I have any reaction still in this moment? That should do the trick. And the more thorough you are, the freer you are. And that's why we call EFT emotional freedom techniques. I had to put that little plug in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. And then uh, one last thing is don't test to see whether you're finished. Test to see whether you can find something else. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's another, you know, nice way of uh, looking at it. Yeah, well said, well said. I'm a great one for testing, as you know, and so are you. Um, but you always want to look for what's not done yet. You always want that's that's a mindset you have. What's not done yet? Too many people have learned EFT in such a superficial way and they kind of aim at symptoms and stuff like this. Oh, I got a result. Oh, we're done. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's the shallow end of the pool. <laughs> okay. Yes, let's dive okay. deep. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, thank you. Anything else, Gabrielle? No, 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 no. All Thanks. right, all right, guys, see you next time. Mm -hmm.